What's up Swiss Lords family, namaste and greeting from Swissman Santos. I'm really thankful with all of you for your love and support. It is giving me more strength and energy to make more videos about Sushi. Please don't forget to subscribe for upcoming videos. So let's go. Today in this Sushi recipe video, I'm gonna show you crispy tempura deep fried sushi roll. I made lots of video about the deep fried sushi rolls, but this fried sushi roll is really different and extra level of crunchy, extra level of textures and flavor. Here I have the sushi grade tuna and salmon block. Firstly, I will cut tuna block in small pieces and I'm gonna keep in a small ball. Same as like that ones, let's do rough chopped salmon as well, then keep it in the same ball of the tuna. It's a red tobacco. I'm going to add two teaspoons and it's a fine soft onion chips. Also, if you don't have the onion chips, you can use the spring onion as well or you can use the French garlic as well. Now you can see here that is the important things. It's a tempura flex made by myself. If you want to learn how to make it, let's comment below. I'll make one special video about it. I always request you. So please don't forget to subscribe for more videos about sushi. It's really crispy and crunchy. So it will make your sushi roll extra level of crunchiness and crispy. Even we can use it in top of the gunkans inside the sushi roll on the top of the any types of sushi especially in the spicy mayonnaise it's combined very well. Now I'm gonna mix it very well. I think this ball is small isn't it? Let's send to the container. Hey sushi lords family wait 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 this is very important to make extra textures and flavor. It's a very simple sushi sauce spicy mild. Let's add how much you want spiciness. I really like spiciness you know. I grew up with lots of spicy food made by my grandma. Yes it's cool we finalized our topping. Don't go away okay. This is the dry nori seaweed. I'm gonna make the maki okay. Seems like a hosomaki. It's not a hosomaki because here I'm gonna use more ingredients. Before placing sushi rice, let's hear to me, okay? Always nori has the rough side and shiny side. We have to place sushi rice on the rough side. Shiny part will be outside. I'm taking around 70 grams sushi rice and gonna put on the middle of seaweed and gently separate both corners as you can see on the video. Then let's place upside and downside with the help of your fingers. I really like, <laughs> I really love to use thumb and second fingers. And don't forget, we need to leave one finger on the top, same as like the making hosomaki sushi roll. For the filling, I love avocado. I'm an avocado lover. It will give you the more creamy flavor and also good combination with the, the salmons. For the sweetness, I'm gonna use the mango. If you don't like the mango, you can use the pineapple. Or if you don't like the more sweetness, because in the sushi rice we have already sweetness, so it's optional. For the sushi rolling techniques, everyone have the different butt. I suggest leave one finger on the bottom of the bamboo mat so your bamboo mat will cover sushi roll very well. And take out your sushi mat with your thumb and second finger like this. A rest finger, rest three finger is used to secure the ingredients. So bamboo tip gonna touch the bottom of the sushi rice then slightly roll over and over give to the final clothes. Making sushi roll is very easy, but making perfect tempura is butter is the important things to make crunchiness. So don't go away, okay? Yes, here is our sushi roll. It's a tempura flour. Today I'm gonna use the egg yolk as well, so it will be a more crunchiness. Let's put icy cold water to mix it. If you don't use the icy cold water, it can um, product more gluten and your tempura butter can be a more chewy. So I always suggest to use the icy cold water, okay? To make the perfect tempura butter, 250 gram tempura flour, 350 ml icy cold water, one third of egg yolk and little fins of the salt and mix together. Don't mix too much, okay? You can leave a little bit flurry. I'll use dry tempura flour with the sushi rolls so it will be a more crispy, crunchy and crusty. It will grab more tempura butter as well. Not only that, the important things is it will stop to go well inside the sushi roll during the deep fried time. 
Now time to do deep fried. Let's dip the sushi roll, sushi roll in the tempura butter and put in the deep fried. Okay, don't make your oil temperature more than 100 degrees Celsius and wait till it becomes a golden brown and crunchy. Let's begin in the final part that is the cutting and plating. I love to do it. When you are cutting the sushi roll, make sure it's not too big to bite it. Yes, it's really crunchy. You can hear the sound, isn't it? Now time to do beautiful plater. I'm gonna add our topping on the top of the sushi rolls which I already made. It's a very simple and delicious. This sushi roll has crunchy deep fried tempura, crispy tempura flex, creamy avocado. For the sweetness I'm using here mango and for the spiciness I'm using the spicy my wow. I'm pretty sure it's a really good combo, isn't it? On the top to make colorful and more umami flavor I love to add the black tobacco at last but not least. Let's add the slice of lemon, wasabi and ginger pickles. That's it. Here is our deep fried tempura sushi roll with the simple and delicious recipe. How is it? Do you like it? If you really like this video, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos about sushi. And if you feel this video is useful for your friends and relatives, please let's do the share for them. Stay safe, stay healthy. See you in the next video. Have a good day.